All right. It is time for us to begin our warrior spirit duels. Let's get started. All right. We'll do it on the hard mode. I want those Prima Gems, damn it. Presumably I get multiple tries if I want. All right. Each of the warriors you will face has a different set of sword techniques, including ordinary techniques that they will use often and exceedingly powerful, but less often used ultimate technique. You can check your opponent's traits via the menu to better devise countermeasures and make it easier to merge victorious. You will be unable to use elemental skills or bursts during these duels, right? Just like the fighting tournament. But you will obtain new abilities, a parry and honed techniques. When using par parry, you will raise your weapon in a defensive stance, greatly decreasing damage taken. Parry is subject to a cooldown before it can be used again. Very cool. You will get different, or you will use different honed techniques to deal with different opponents, hitting opponents with normal and charged attacks. Performing parries successfully help you accumulate spirit, which will also accumulate slowly over time. Once it finishes accumulating, you can activate actively use honed techniques. Use up to two set two uses. Up to two uses of such techniques can be accumulated. And if you get the timing right, and parry just as your opponent is striking. You can completely eliminate any damage that would be done to you and will reset parry's cooldown. Completing such a perfect parry against your opponent's normal techniques will cause you to accumulate more spirit. Very cool. When each warrior is about to use their ultimate technique, their weapon will shine brightly, perfectly parry these techniques to unleash powerful counter attacks and accumulate large amounts of spirit. Very cool. Then use your own honed techniques at the right moment to seize victory. So this is going to be Sekiro. Stance of impregnability. Enter a special defensive state. Upon being hit, a perfect parry will be triggered. It deals counter damage to the opponent. This state will be removed after triggering three perfect parries or having lasted for 15 seconds. Very cool. I'm ready. Or should I see who my opponent is? Are you ready for the competition? Okay, let's begin. Ibuki, can I? Right, the strategy. Watch out for the opponent's consecutive strikes and adjust your combat movements accordingly. Oh, I can't do pro yet. I really wanna. Well, we'll see how we do. That is not a sword, but they did say it just had to be the right kind of weapon, but spears are harder to deal with. Those are... They have an advantage over swords. Can I walk on? Ow. Um. Nope. That was bad timing. Come on. Nice. Nice counter. It really is Sekiro. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, hey. Come on, attack. This is my first time participating in exhibition. Here I go. There we go. That's a very powerful ultimate. Raina, are you ready for the competition? Let's begin. Oh, I can do uh, pro now. Yeah, let's try pro. I'm not sure if that gets us any bono benefits, but. Yeah, that was bad. Nice. Nope. Very good. Come 
Come on, buddy. This is my first time, so here I come. Yeah, my, uh... That ultimate is actually <laughs> practically cheating. Like, oh, jeez. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, look at that. Complete with uh, normal or higher. On hard or higher. Within 75 seconds. And on pro. Hiro Tatsu. That wasn't... That wasn't the... No, he's not the one who was uh, shit-talking us. Yeah, these are all the same for all of them, I think. Still the stance of impregnability, fair enough. I am ready for the competition. It's a shame I can't go immediately to pro. I love this. And my biggest complaint about that tournament we did before was that it just wasn't long enough. Death. Shit. Nice. And shoot, he has got some timing. Okay, it gives us that, um, the hint when it's about to actually unleash. Alright, very good. He's a master at arms. I believe it, he's a... Shoot. Alright, well, we can use our, uh, our cheat mode. then. You ready? I got your timing down now. Ha ha ha. Granted, my, uh, Sword fighting isn't as uh, impressive as yours. All right, that's it. That is not successfully. My timing is bad. Okay, we got that. I want to. I want to try again on though. Against that one, yeah. Did it work? Sure what it takes to participate. Let's see if your swordsmanship is as good as your spirits. Nope. It's not doing it. Come on. I really want to uh, successfully parry that one. I was parrying it, but I don't think I was getting a counter attack. Today's the third day of the competition. Yeah. The voting results for Ayaka's outfit should be ready, oh. right? Oh, you're right. The bulletin board in Inazuma City. Then we have to go all the way back? Outfit team won. <laughs> but did I? Would I have been able to vote? You guys all hear about the competition? 
don't know what kind of outfit Miss Ayaka will wear in the final exhibition match. Yeah, just as I thought. You don't even bother to go for a walk, but now you're interested in the sword fighting competition all of a sudden just because Miss Ayaka would be there. I mean, I don't exactly blame the guy. But, but it isn't just me. Avid swordsmanship enthusiasts like yourself are in, a, are in the minority in Inazuma now. And I was the one who woke up early in the morning to get tickets to the exhibition match. Okay, okay. I didn't mean to blame you. It's rare that we shared a common interest. We agreed to watch the match together, not to argue. Maybe through, maybe through this, we will actually become interested in swordsmanship. You look tough, Yonan. Mm. Are you one of the contestants of War on Warrior's Spirit? You're from Sumeru? Yes. Us Eremites are tasked with ensuring safe passage of goods from Inazuma to Sumeru, which is why we're, we often come to Rito. You can sign up for this Warrior Spirit contest as long as you have a weapon for close quarters combat. How could I say no? Ha. Huh. Not to that I am bragging, but my brothers at Port Ormos are famous for their martial prowess, and I'm the best out of all of them. It seems that you know your way around a sword, young lady, but you do not, but you do look fra a little frail. If we see each other on the field, don't blame me for not going easy. Ha <laughs> ha. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, what kind of outfit is Ayaka gonna wear? I'm excited to see. Oh, there's already a crowd gathering in front of the bulletin board. Uh, let Paimon see, coming through. Yeah. Oh, I didn't expect the votes to differ by that much. I thought for sure that Masako would win, given Ooh. that Warrior Spirit is a competition unique to Inazuma. Who's Masako? Just as I predicted. After all, the case files of Miss Orith is a recent bestseller. Not what? only is the story interesting, but the book's illustrations of Fontaine outfits are also really unique. Oh. Oh! Is it gonna be her Fontaine outfit after all? Besides, don't you think that Miss Orith's character is a good fit for Miss Kamisato? Yes. I'm very tempted to get it, especially since I'm gonna get a wish on Ayaka. I do have crystals thank you paimon blessing thingy well miss sorith is fiercely competitive but loves to play pranks on others which is nearly the complete opposite of miss kamisato <laughs> however it'll be interesting <laughs> to see miss kamisato in a fontaine outfit it is it is so lovely it's a very lovely outfit i love the hat it's just a nice dress too huh? what are you talking about? A very spring uh, feeling paimon they're talking about the inspirations for these outfits. Took me a second as well. I think they might be light novels. Oh, look! There are some options for the outfits! Pretty please Kitsune Guji. Yeah. The case oh. files of Miss Orith. Pretty please Kitsune Guji. Are we saying that she would wear like a fox outfit? Uh, hold on! Didn't they say the choices were gonna be between the four seasons of Inazuma? Or did they switch to cosplay outfits from White Knob? Hmm. Maybe something went wrong with the poll? Maybe they had a change in plans. I mean, this seems like a smarter move, though. Paimon thinks we need to find out what happened. Come on, let's find Ayaka at the Yashiro Commission. Of course. We're just going all over the place, aren't we? Good thing I unlocked those teleport points. The rain guarantees you vaporizes. I'm terribly sorry. I was the one who mixed up the two voting boxes. Oh. By the time Mr. Onodera came back from his business trip, the results had already been announced. <laughs> In an effort to keep things confidential, we specifically didn't mark the ballots with the title of the poll. Ah. Uh. I regret that decision now that everything's gotten mixed up. You're 
wait. Something did go wrong with the outfit loading. So what was the other poll for then? Your favorite light novel? Traveler Paimon. It seems you've also heard about the results. Yes, I am very excited. It is a very nice outfit, Kamisato Ayaka. Yeah, and we're not the only ones. It felt like everyone we saw on the way here was talking about it. What are you going to do? She's going to wear the outfit. Miss Kamisato, we're the ones responsible for this blunder. I'll go reorganize a boat right now, and we'll set things straight. Please wait, Onodera. There might be yet another solution. Yes, cosplay. The poll error is something that only the competition organizers are aware of. The public didn't seem to notice anything wrong with the ballots. <laughs> Moreover, there were no complaints when people yeah. thought that outfits from popular works would make an appearance in the exhibition match. On the contrary, everyone seemed to think it was a special surprise. People love cosplay. Since our goal was to generate interest in the competition, the consequences of this mistake shouldn't be viewed as a blunder. I really want to see this other outfit too, though. What's this Kitsune outfit? I imagine she would look adorable in it. Wait, Ayaka, so do you mean that... Probably not quite as adorable as the Fontaine one, but still. Yes, I think we should just make the best of this mistake. In the final exhibition match, I'll simply wear whichever outfit accumulated the most votes. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, but that will make things difficult for you, Miss Kamisato. Unlike outfits tailored for martial arts, the outfits from the novels aren't designed for combat. Fair, but hey, that gives me an advantage. It won't be a problem. The Fontaine-style dress from the novel shouldn't be too heavy, so it won't affect my abilities. Right. But no, uh, no armor in it, though. I'll try to get used to it, even if it's quite different than something I'm accustomed to wearing. And she is so... She goes with the flow. Wow. Ayaka is speaking calmly, but Paimon can still feel her courage. Maybe she's always wanted to cosplay. We don't know. All right, I understand. In that case, we'll proceed with Miss Kamisato's proposal. The outfit we prepare for the reader's meet and greet will be tailored and adjusted according to Miss Kamisato's figure. We'll ensure that the outfit is completely ready for the exhibition match. Oh... Okay, so the other poll was... I mean, they're going to be very confused, though. So both polls did go out, didn't they? Thank you. It's a lot to handle, but I'm sure you can manage. Ayaka, will you really be okay wearing some character yeah, cosplay she will be. in the exhibition match? You're not pushing yourself because we're here, are you? No, please don't worry. I actually feel relaxed and even a little joyful at the moment. Yeah, like I said, Paimon, she really wanted to cosplay a bit. Before, the thought of wearing a fancy dress on the stage of the exhibition match had me worried. I was concerned about whether I would be presentable enough to meet the audience's expectations. Yeah? However, if I'm wearing the same clothes as a fictional character, then it shouldn't be too big of an issue. The detective in the novel is known for being mischievous and doing things <laughs> her own way. Sounds like you've read it there, Ayaka. Everyone watching the exhibition match will be able to experience something new in a traditional form. So that's what Ayaka was thinking. And that's not all. Deep down, I've always been looking forward to the day I could wear something different from what I normally <laughs> do. Yeah, like I said, Paimon. She was looking forward to the opportunity to cosplay. Traveler, not long after we met, I remember you mentioning that Liyue, Mondstadt, and every nation has their own unique fashion. That they do. At that time, I couldn't imagine that one day I would be able to experience all these foreign places. <laughs> but now, all those wishes that were once impossible don't seem so far out of reach. I look forward to having that conversation with you. Besides... My mother was always curious about outfits from other countries when she was alive. Oh, I'm so sorry. This time, I will be able to fulfill my mother's dream. Thinking about it that way, this special outfit can indeed be called a surprise. Huh. In that case, this whole accident with the vote turned out to be I know, a good right? Thing. <laughs> well, now that this is all settled, let's get ready and go to the arena. Yeah, let's. We have a competition to win. Yes. I know you will do great, Traveler. 
Onadera and I will also head to the arena to watch your fight once we've confirmed my outfit's measurements. Am I going to include this in the bonus episode or the main episode? I guess you'll see. Oh. Fight went out. Nice view of the ocean. Looking, uh... Looking east. But you see some wonderful uh, sunrises. <laughs> trying to spook the ocean there, Hotel. Silly. Yummy, yummy for our tummy. Ah, it's Yonan now. I wonder if I could have talked to these two before. I missed the opportunity. Oh well. Now I know to look for the next person, though. Oh, let's view the rules for him. Oh, and we have a new home technique. So, strategy. Unleashed, unleash strikes in quick succession. To accelerate the filling up of your opponent's fury meter before they use their ultimate technique. Use the strategy to gain control over the combat. And then formidable strike to perform a powerful strike that deals a considerable amount of physical damage to the opponent nearby. So it's just a strong attack then. Reyna, I am ready to begin. Hello there. That is a weapon. What the hell is it? I don't even know. Your journey ends here. Well, looks like he does geo damage. That, uh, counter him? And oh, we got him there. <laughs> the blade from Inazuma versus the pull on from the desert. We seem to be doing pretty good. Hmm. Raise that. And... It didn't seem to... It seems like it should be easy to counter, but... There we go. Let's do the pro. I am ready. Ends here. Pound it to the ground. You try and you tried to stop me. supposed to be easy to, uh, to counter. It's easier than the other ones. Nice. Out of the way. Yeah. 
And... Wonderful. And boom, gotcha. So much for fragile. Sure showed him. Oh, it's you. I didn't think I would lose to a young woman with scrawny arms and legs. But you're a real fighter, so it was an honorable loss. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I respect that. That you, uh, aren't bitching and moaning about your defeat. Will you stick around in Inazuma? What? Just because I lost doesn't mean I can't stay here. Well, to tell you the truth, I've been waiting these last two days for the next cargo ship that my brothers are on to come and take me home. If I had known I would be out in the third round, I wouldn't have asked for so many days off and not made any money. Fortunately, I won two games before, and I still have a few pennies left after I got the money to last me the next few days. Wonderful. I'm not seeing anyone else around here. Eh, fair enough. <gasps> Taro Maru. Perry Taro Maru's uh, Taro Maru's attacks with all your might, and use honed techniques at the right time to knock him down. I don't know if I can do this. Once he's knocked down, the damage he takes will be increased, and formidable strike again. What the hell? Why? Why would you make me fight the little Shiva? Are you ready? No, but I don't have a choice, do I? Taro. Taro Maru. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually amazing. Well done, Mihoyo. Well done. 10 out of 10. This game has been entirely worth it just for this moment. Oh, yikes. Oh, he's big. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. This pup is powerful. Okay, we could manage to parry him. is so precious. Uh-oh. Can't deal with that attack. It, this is the greatest thing they have ever done. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, who's a good little sword fighter? Damn it, he's smart. He's not gonna let me parry. Uh oh, here it comes. Gotcha! Oh! Oh, poor little fellow. I feel bad about that. He is clearly an amazing sword fighter, which, being a pup, is even more impressive. Uh, it's like, uh, fighting, um,. Damn it. Damn it. Why am I... I can't believe I'm forgetting the, the wolf's name. Sif. It's like Sif from Dark Souls. That's what it reminds me of. Hey, pup. Oh. <laughs> Be careful here. Unanticipated contrivance is this title. Oh, it goes more. Oh, it wasn't in time. Alright, we got him. So yeah, you really do want to do it when they when that shows up. If you don't. 
then basically ow then you won't hit the right timing it's very kind not making you do any guesswork no ow you might win this to get our powerful attack let's get you down on the ground first though shoot go oh, there we go woof 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 eh, not enough gotcha sorry little pup I need you down we will end this with a parry. Oh, -ho. come on, come to me. If you won't come for me, wait, can you parry that? You just have to hit the timing, right? There we go. Sorry, pup. That, that was amazing. I don't wonder who the second to last. We know Kamusato is going to be the last. Who's the second to last? Also, is that puppy anywhere around here? Uh, I'm not seeing them. Ah, Akatsuki Seimon Juzo. Strategy, accumulate spirit as quickly as you can to use the honed technique to weaken Akatsuki Seimon Juzo. Disabling your opponent's swift retreat movement and consecutive aggressive strikes. And then our honed technique is Ferocious Combo Lashes. Enter a special attacking state unleash upon unleashing normal or charge attacks. A blade wave will be unleashed that deals physical damage to the opponent hit. The state will be removed after 6 seconds. It's going to jump at us and quickly retreat then. Sounds like. Clearly, the dog should have been the second to last, though. Man, you're big. What are you going to do? Oh, wait, no. See a hint as to the timing. Over here, you. There we go. So there was a hint there. A slight one. Ho 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 ho! That's awesome. I am not exposed clearly. self-styled strategist. Gotcha. That was a powerful one. We are becoming quite the swordsman, it seems. You ready for this? Timing right. Damn it. Fall before me. Nope. Nope. And the 
against it. One strike will suffice. Nah, I don't think one strike will suffice, but nice. Getcha. Shoot. Come on. Attack. Don't be a coward. Yeah. Miss the timing again. Nope. I said see it though, the blue spark at the top of his swing. One more. That doesn't seem counterable. I think it's only ultimate techniques that are actually counterable. These ones you just reduce or eliminate the damage. There we go. Gotcha. And with that, it is time for Ayaka. After I think one more event, maybe. Your skills are superb. I've been thoroughly bested. Oh, I'm glad to see you are a good sport. It was an honor to fight against you. Ladies and gentlemen, after an exhilarating battle, the champion for the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition has been decided. Give it up for <laughs> the Traveler. He <laughs> said my knee. <laughs> you don't have to put so many emphasis on every syllable. But, um, I guess I don't have to defeat Ayaka to be considered champion. That's cool. Tomorrow, we will conduct the final exhibition match. The Traveler and Miss Kamisato versus the Almighty oh. Shogun's chosen envoy, an autonomous humanoid known oh. as the Magu Kengo. I thought, it was, I thought she was the emissary. So she's the familiar that's protecting me. Against the Shogun's emissary. Is that we'll it? See you then. Hey there, Chisato. <sighs> that was a most thrilling match, Traveler. Thank you. I thought it was very cool, actually. Yeah. Congratulations, Traveler. You've certainly earned your title as the champion. Paimon had no idea that tomorrow's opponent would be the Magu Kengo. Um. The name sounds similar to that troublesome one we encountered on Yashiori Island. Oh, yes. Paimon doesn't think it'll be an easy fight. I very much remember this, clearly. <laughs> oh. It seems I'll need to remember. Well, actually, it's probably best if I forget the name of Magu Kengo. Don't worry, Paimon. After this. The Shogun's chosen envoy may be strong, but tomorrow's match doesn't prohibit the use of visions. Oh. I'll make a formidable team. Oh, shoot. We could use. Ayaka in her full glory. As long as we can track its moves, an opportunity to strike back will present itself. Right. Oh, hearing your confidence sure makes Paimon feel better. I cannot guarantee that we will win, but we must try our best. Yes, we must. If just to give the crowd a show, they will not forget. <laughs> It'll definitely be an exciting match. I can tell you two are already raring to go. Oh, very. But it'd be best to conserve your energy and get some rest tonight. We'll also be able to see Ayaka's new outfit when we wake up tomorrow. I know, and right? a fontaine dress. Oh, Paimon can't wait. I've already seen it thanks to the, uh, all the promotion, but, oh, it is a beautiful dress. Uh, I love it. Yes. Oh, well. <laughs> Do you want me to pick you up in the morning? <laughs> Sounds like there's no way around it, Miss Ayaka. Oh, if I wasn't busy tomorrow, I would have loved to come see as well. <laughs> you can that's that's too bad. You can see it after though, Chisato. You're friends with Ayaka, so Ah. I suppose it's settled then. I'll wait for you at the Kamisato estate tomorrow morning. Of course. It's about time to head over to the Kamisato estate. It is Paimon. <laughs> Me too. Huh. 
Miss Ayaka. Miss Kamisato. Kamisato sama. Where are you? Or should I say Ayaka chan? Ah, you're finally here. Since we're friends. Hello there, Hirotatsu. You weren't even participating. Ugh, it's Hirotatsu. Anything to say for yourself? Dull, not sharp samurai. What else do you have to say? Wait, we did? We we never faced him, did we, Paimon? Or did was he was he the second round guy after all? I'm I'm already forgetting the name of that person. Don't worry, I'm not here to cause trouble. I just wanted to apologize, traveler. I guess he was I that person. Fair and square. He was just wearing his ago. hat, his helmet. Your swordsmanship is excellent. Each strike was precise, but not aggressive, which speaks to your character. I ask your forgiveness for misjudging you and offending you with my words and actions. It's okay. It didn't bother me. I enjoyed our fight. The two of you must be here to pick up Miss Kamisato. That we are. She's in the dressing room right now and should be out soon. Traveler, before the young lady comes out, I have a bit of a presumptuous request that I hope you can consider. I will at the very least consider it. What is it? Although the young lady has never mentioned today's exhibition match to us retainers, she has spared a few hours every evening to Aww. practice her swordsmanship, despite how busy she that is. is. That's sweet. She is so dedicated. The young lady has always been diligent and conscientious, although it's just an exhibition match, and it won't matter if she loses. I trust that she will do her best to win. Yeah. As a retainer, I do believe in her, of course, but... Uh, I still hope you can support the young lady in the arena and ensure her safety. Uh, don't worry. I will. Though I think it's she who will be ensuring my safety. Traveler, I leave the young lady in your hands. <gasps> there it is. Oh, that must be Ayaka! It is truly lovely. <laughs> yes, I feel your excitement. All of you. Wow. That's a nice little butterfly ring. I love the hat. The way she does her hair, too. Yes, yes. Thank you, Mihoyo. I get it. I will consider acquiring this outfit. Oh, she has butterflies on her hair, too. That's adorable. Oh? What's the matter? Why are you two so silent? <laughs> Is there something wrong with the outfit? No. Far from it. Miss Ayaka. Not at all! Ayaka, you look amazing! You're radiating beauty! She really is. It is a... Man, the Fontanese. They really know their, uh, clothing, don't they? This look really suits you. It's a perfectly, it's a beautiful outfit and it suits you perfectly. Just look at it! It even has the crest of the Kamisato clan embroidered on it! Is that the, the flower? Yes. Onodera had someone from the family make it over the last few days. Wow. I heard it was based on suggestions that the spectators had written on the ballots. They did that in a few days? That is absolutely unreasonable. I feel bad for... The, uh, the tailors that had to create that outfit. The outfit is well tailored and offers more freedom of movement than I had expected. That feels like a weeks long job at least. Paimon can't wait to see the look on everyone's faces when they see Ayaka. I know, right? Thank you for the compliments, Paimon. Traveler, now that we're ready, Let's head to the arena. Mm, yes. Let us head. My lady. The traveler. Right on over. I wish you all the best in the exhibition match. Are you not going to watch? You don't want to see your lady in action. Hope I'm not missing out on anything by uh, just teleporting on over. Hey. 
Hey, look! Miss Kamisato and the Traveler have arrived! Yes, we have. Man. The color scheme suits are so Although well, too. I've seen illustrations of this outfit before. Seeing Miss Kamisato wear it truly brings some unique flair. <laughs> oh, it was worth lining up super early to get front row seats. I'm really looking forward to today's match. I haven't actually seen anyone in a crowd watching our matches up till now. Became the center of attention the moment she appeared. I mean, of course. Have you seen her? Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. Oh, she probably would have been the center of attention the regardless of what she was wearing. The exhibition match is about to begin. Please enter the arena in an orderly fashion and take your seats. Of course, of course. Miss Kamisato, traveler, please come with me. Are you ready, traveler? I am ready. Let us go, Ayaka. Good. Let's give it our best. I look forward to fighting beside you. And I, you. Man. We get to face the... Oh, well, with the... The Shogun's Emissary. It's a mask. Oh, there's something behind it. Hello. Oh, he's a lower level. Oh, wow. My apologies. <laughs> what an overwhelming presence. Certainly hmm. worthy of being the almighty Shogun's okay. chosen so, envoy. It looks like she might be actually literally puppeteering him. Let's go. Take flight. Hmm. Yeah, I think she is actually puppeteering him. Come on to me, how about? Oh, he still has those abilities, but... We don't have our counters anymore, though. See, Animo. There we go. We got him. Oh, what the? What is that? Uh-oh. Ow. That's cool, though. Oh, he's doing it again. Ow. Just charge on in and... There we go. In this solemn matter, something, something. What the requirements for getting the uh, last rewards were then? Traveler, Ayaka, we're over here. Hello, Paimon, Chisato. How did you like that the expression? Extraordinary match. <sighs> I don't know much about swordsmanship, but even I was caught up in the tense atmosphere of the arena. <laughs> yeah. My heart's still pounding even now. Though, um. I am at least a little disappointed we didn't get to face the Shogun herself, but... Oh well. Probably would have gotten her asses kicked if we did. I mean, we haven't fought either Venti or... Zhongli. And, uh... Well. But my point being... We shouldn't face a god in combat without, uh... Being extra sure. Of our abilities. Your opponent's moves kept surprising Paimon, but it seems like the two of you are prepared for that. Though, at the, by the time of this event, I am expecting the Shogun to have lost her Gnosis. Traveler, Miss Kamisato. Oh, hey. Congratulations on winning the exhibition match. Kujo, Sarah. How are you doing? Crow Feather Kaburaya, the active chief general of the Tenryo Commission, which means something more to me now. Uh, 
decisive and valiant in battle. If the Raiden Shogun is the great thunder of the heavens, then Kujo Sera is the lightning that cannot be parried. The lightning flashes first, and the thunder swiftly follows. As the adopted child of the Kujo clan, she is swift and stern. That is how most people know her or see her. And to her, eating the Shogun and realizing eternity is her foremost goal, even if she knows that she will not be around to see it come to pass. Hmm. <laughs> Respect that. You came to watch the competition, too? I was ordered by the Almighty Shogun to observe this competition. I see. You two displayed remarkable swordsmanship and cooperation. Not only did you present the beauty of the sword arts to the audience, I was also able to learn quite a bit myself. Oh, you... oh thank you. Though at the end there, that was more visions than sword arts that did the trick. I'm flattered. All of you have been busy also, with I would not have stood a chance without Ayaka. Competition. Today marks a perfect ending to this warrior spirit event. <laughs> Your efforts have been recognized by the Almighty Shogun. I am beyond honored. I must return to the Tenshukaku and report on what happened at the exhibition match to the Almighty Shogun. Everyone, the please excuse me. I assume that's her home. Probably on that island that I've been considering. Does everyone have plans now? If not, why don't we go to Uyu restaurant for a victory meal? Oh, I would love to. Great idea! We've been so focused on the competition lately that it's been a while since we've had a good meal. Let's go! <laughs> yes, let us. <sighs> what's the matter, Ayaka? Yeah, what's wrong? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Just exhausted. The effects of winning are only now starting to sink in. Kujo Sara said that she learned a lot from the fight, and so did I. Oh? Although the audience members might not have noticed, there were many moments where I would have been in trouble if it weren't for you <laughs> by my side. I mean, drawing away the opponent's attacks. I would say the same thing right back at you, Ayaka. Without you there, I would have lost handily. Without you. It would have been impossible for me to win on my own. It's just as I expected. My swordsmanship is still far from your level. I have to disagree. But, fair enough. Yeah. I feel like you might be conflating your swordsmanship with my unreasonable abilities. I Keep in mind, I am a person who goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with gods sometimes. As much as I say I shouldn't face the Archons in single combat. I am probably able to, especially as I gain my power back. You helped me many times as well. Really? Hearing you say that makes me want to spar with you all of a sudden. To tell you the truth, I've been hoping for an opportunity to spar with you ever since we first met. Oh. That wish was half fulfilled today at the exhibition match. Well, yeah, we can go a few rounds if you want next time. Sure. But until then, make sure you take good care of your sword. <laughs> if I ever manage to steal it one day, your life will also be in my hands. Oh, well, I, uh, I'm looking forward to it. And don't worry, I think my life would be in good hands in that case. <laughs> I've always wanted to say something like that. <laughs> Did it sound strange? It was extremely cute. It sounded very much like Miss Orth. It was cute. Hey, what's the hold up here? What are you talking about? We are having fun, Paimon. You go eat your food. I'm hanging out with Ayaka. <laughs> we were just talking about having a match to determine which of us is the superior sword fighter. I think it's Ayaka, but she thinks it's me. When it comes to swordsmanship, but aren't you friends with the traveler? Why do you need a match? For fun. It's precisely because we're friends that we should spar often and learn from each other. Yeah. Oh, guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, sparring is good for you, Paimon. It's how you hone your abilities. 
Traveler, keep all I just said a secret? Of course, of course. It's between you and me. Huh? What did Ayaka say? She said you are looking like you maybe don't need to eat food, Paimon. You've been, uh... Well. Nothing. Let's get going. So, do we actually get to go and eat food at Uyu Restaurant? Wherever that is, I'm assuming Inazuma City. Aha! The Uyu Restaurant. Is Ayaka and company here? It's a nice little restaurant. But... I don't think Ayaka is here. Yeah. Well. Oh well. I love this music. I say that all the time, though. Yeah. All completed. Oh, wait. We haven't, uh... Successfully done his yet. One client. I think we gotta make him a client. Of course, if I'm actually able to use that one ability, I think I might be able to do this. Yeah. Accumulate spared as quickly as possible uh, to break his parry state and set it into a weakened state. Unleash attacks against him to make it uh, use its ultimate technique. Right. To remove his parry state. Or parry him. Parry his ultimate technique to remove his parry state. That's going to be tough. I am ready. That is a ridiculous mask. stayed on. Oh, that's Perry. So I have to hit him from behind when he's... And... I failed there. There we go. Come on there, the instructor. Brr, click. Perry State 2. Cool. That is a really cool ability. Alright, ready? There we go. <laughs> he is the toughest of them. That's for sure. 
seconds, he can actually parry us. Though I still stand by that the doggy was the most adorable of them. At least his parry doesn't hurt us. He doesn't get a counterattack. I'm down about a third. Uh-oh. Ow! He swirled me. your ultimate. Alrighty. There we go. That should be enough, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, no, not quite. One more. I don't take those hits again like that. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ow! And there we go. Ready? Here we go. Challenge complete. And with that done, now the event is over. I'm almost surprised we managed to do. Oh. 90 seconds. Screw it. We'll I'm going with 100%, damn it. That one was close. There we go. And... Good. Gotta break you. there. Good. Can we make it? There we go. Yes. 55 seconds that time. Now... We are done with the event. I'm curious what that achievement was. Defeat a Magu Kenki without triggering its Oshi no Mote Perry. Oh. In this solemn matter, let no one interfere. Apparently, I'm going to be facing more of those things. Probably. Defeat one without being hit by its phantom's attacks. Ah. Yeah, it seems I definitely will be facing more of those things. Well, that was a lot of fun. 
Till next time. <laughs>